Our story begins on a fine spring day in the Hundred Acre Wood. And on that quiet and peaceful morning, the only sounds to be heard were the chirping of the birds, the buzzing of the bees, and... Today's the day! It's finally here! Easter! <laughs> Perhaps I'll just let Rue take it from here. I'm going to rabbits for the Easter egg hunt, Mama. Get from here. I'm going to rabbits for the Easter egg hunt, Mama. Take it from here. I'm going to rabbits for the Easter egg hunt, Mama. Well, it certainly is a beautiful day for it. Me and T are going to find every egg in the hundred acre wood. Pay for it. Me and T are going to find every egg in the hundred acre wood. And every egg in the hundred acre wood. I'm sure you will, dear. But first, come and eat your breakfast. If I find any pink eggs, I'm giving them to Piglet. The pink ones are his favorite. If I find any pink <laughs> eggs, I'm giving them to Piglet. The pink ones are his favorite. If I find any pink eggs, I'm giving them to Piglet. The pink ones are his favorite. How sweet of you. You're going to make him very happy. I sure hope so. And I'm going to bring you a blue one, Mama. Because those are the prettiest. I sure hope so. And I'm going to bring you a blue one, Mama. Because those are the prettiest. <laughs> I sure hope so. And I'm going to bring you a blue one, Mama. Because those are the prettiest. <laughs> well, you better eat up then. You can't hunt eggs on an empty stomach. <laughs> That's what Winnie the Pooh says, too. And he's exactly right. So you can go just as soon as you're finished. 